Hi everyone, this is Charm again from Ready to Adult Philippines, a channel about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. And today we're going kando hunting. <laughs> Okay, so present charm here. Very quickly, let's do our featured comment for the week. And if you guys want to get featured, then comment down below. And also, insta story this video and tag me at ready to adult ph. I just wanted to let you guys know that most of this footage was shot over eight months ago. And I never really put the video out because we were so bad at vlogging. But I wanted to put out more real estate videos in the future and I thought that this video would be a good first one, set the bar low. <laughs> so we were looking for a cheaper place to stay because we were also planning to buy our own condo. So most of the condos that we wanted that were like in the CBD areas, which is in CBP and in IT Park here in Cebu, they were around 20 to 25,000. And the condo that I partly own, which you see in my very first backgrounds of my videos, I'll insert a clip here. Um, we were renting that out, so we didn't want to live in it because it's also an income stream. So we decided to look for places outside the CBD, but was pretty near to our office. So our office is actually right across the street from our condo, so that's really convenient. But you know, right now we're kind of working from home, but it's also nice to have your own space, especially to work and to film. So a little background, Jet lived alone in his four years of college. He lived in Manila, but I never really tried living alone or living with a partner. So the adult thing is real because of all the cooking, the cleaning and the dishwashing. And we're especially challenged today because of the stay at home regulations. So we checked out three buildings, multiple units and some buildings. And the funny thing is this particular unit we're living in right now wasn't actually in the footage because five days in to our condo, we actually had to move units because of multiple reasons. And I'll be talking more about that later. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a little condo tour. I'm gonna explain why we had to move units and I'm gonna show you guys how we laid it out because this wasn't meant to be a studio room and also why we chose it and what are some of the inclusions. So I'll be talking about that at the end of the video, okay? Today, we're taking you guys condo hunting here in Cebu. So I'm looking for a place to live and my girlfriend, Charm, has taken this as an opportunity to give everyone insight on what it's like to look for a condo. So this is also the, the first time I'll be moving out since college. So it's also going to be a learning experience for me. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm driving. Okay, bye. Okay, so some of the few things that you want to take into consideration when you're looking for, for a condo, they're an aircon already. The other place that we looked at didn't have an air condition. The bathroom here is so much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh. Since it's set up as a dormitory, it's why the shower and the urinal is... We also won't have to spend for closets anymore since there are closets there too. Uh, the beds can be removed since this is set, again set up as a dormitory. There's a desk. We can move this there. Yeah, looks good. It's small but we don't need much. Mm. Third dormitory type. Yes. Again, we can have those taken out. So we just learned that uh, there is no 
kitchen. Yeah, so we for realize the dorm. it's my kitchen counter. Make do. Kitchen, pantry. <laughs> Same CR. Separate shower and yeah. This is nice. It's so, so far, um, amenity wise, I think that was the best condo we've seen today. We've only seen two. We've only seen two. <laughs> we're going to a third one right now, but we're gonna wrap it up really quick because I'm really hungry. Um, I like how it's close to my office, which is one of the reasons why I'm moving because I want to be closer to where I'm gonna work. Um, Cebu traffic's getting really bad. Personally, I just see that there's so much upside to living close by because you don't have to spend on gas and I hate driving so I won't have to drive to work so much uh, which, which is why I let her drive whenever we're together <laughs> uh, you should also ask like what's the security deposit and advances and some properties actually cover the advance on the last month of your contract so it's like for example, it's two month security deposit, one month advance, and then the advance is for the last month. So it feels like it's three months, right? Which is a lot. And yeah, you should ask that as well. Another thing, so for people like me who practically live on the internet, I rely on the internet a lot for work, you always have to ask which service providers are available at that building. And how fast. And how fast their capabilities are. Um, at my house, I use Sky Broadband, and I'm really comfortable with Sky Broadband as a service provider. However, with with the condos that we've been looking at so far, none of them support Sky Broadband access just yet. So, you know, that's something you have to take into consideration also, because I've heard bad stuff about the LDT, and I'm not really gonna be. Yeah, that's a whole other story. So, keep you updated on the next location. One bedroom, and I forgot. An extra door. Four. Whatever you want to put here, like a washing machine. Oh, yeah. Remote. Oh, it's a and service area. area. Yes, yeah, so you see anyone. I'm pretty bad at this, so I hope you guys forgive me and be patient with me. But yeah, okay, so this is the door. I'm gonna flip you guys now. Okay, so that's where I was. That's our door. Here we have a laundry bag, some umbrellas, and our outside shoes. These cabinets were kind of built in, so we kind of have to maneuver around them when we laid out the space. These are our work desks. So we got a computer from our office and that's Jet's laptop. So we put the monitors on top of books and his watch winders because he wants the monitors elevated. And then the keyboard and the mouse works for both laptop and computer. Okay, so this is where I work. This is where I film. You guys are very familiar with this space. Those are all Jet's scotch and whiskeys. I don't really drink them, just the wines are mine. <laughs> so it's pretty straightforward. The tables are also part of the unit, so we didn't have to buy new tables for now. And then next is our drying dish rack, and then my laundry bag, my yoga mat, and then this full-size mirror. I would prefer to put a mirror against the wall, like hang it on the wall to save space but again we're in a rental unit so it has to be a standing mirror i have my slippers there for the bathroom so this is our ref so this was actually an extra ref that we had at home so our cleaning products tissues 
a standing fan or water or kitchen counter so majority of our furniture are from Mandal Foam this is not sponsored so a toaster, cooking essentials, our induction trash cans, our broom, shoe rack and then our bed so this is not staged this is actually what i do every morning i keep the bed and our sleeping clothes are there we have a little blanket there for the work area if we get cold and then we have like a rolling side table here and my ring light is there so he always has a book this is his side of the bed by the way so yeah very quick condo tours okay so for the cabinets i'm not gonna show you guys the rest those are just clothes clothes house supplies but this is like our pantry plastic bags junk food and pasta and like our condiments and canned food so i'm pretty proud how i organized this so i just showed you real quick okay so i'm just in my house clothes hi guys Okay, so next is our CR. As you guys saw earlier, uh, this is like a dormitory type. So the shower and the toilet is separated. And it's actually a pretty good layout for us that way. So let me show you guys what we did to their bathroom. Okay, so very quickly, let's open the door. Okay, so very quickly, towel rack, our sink. Quickly, we got this rack. Um, that's Jet skincare over there. This is my skincare, um, my makeup bag, some feminine products, and our cleaning products. So yeah, I don't know if you guys are interested of a video about skincare routine for men's and women's. Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, uh, so this is the shower, and over here is my robe and our toilet oh, I actually have to put that out okay. okay so let's pan one last time Okay, so we're back here. You already saw our options and the prices. And I want to tell you guys why we chose this condo and why we got transferred to this unit. So this was actually supposed to be the unit that we were getting. And we actually stayed there for a couple of days before they had to move us. So update, we have to change room. One, the aircon was leaking and they couldn't fix it right away. So they needed a few days. And two, there were some problems with the plumbing and the CR, so water would leak through the tiles. And another was that we wanted to cook. And like we said in the videos, um, it's a dormitory type room, so it wasn't really designed with a kitchen. So we wanted to include a kitchen, so we needed a space where we can put our kitchen counter near the window okay so those were kind of the three things why they decided to give us the option to move to another floor and actually we like this unit better because it's bigger and the layout suited what we needed more okay so this condo cost 12,900 a month that's already including condo juice that's already including a parking space that's already including Wi-Fi uh, and their Wi-Fi is pretty fast it's just sometimes it doesn't get to us so we have a Wi-Fi repeater but with those inclusions this unit is really a steal and it's not our ideal condo yet for one I would never choose an orange and blue paint I'd really rather it be white but we're in a rental and we can't really do anything about it and also I would love everything to just make use of the walls for storage and everything but we can't drill so those are just some of the things that you have to think about when you're renting you can't do permanent changes or else it would be either a waste of your money because you have to put it back to the way it was before or your property manager won't allow it at all Another thing is that the condo doesn't allow pets, so that's definitely something that we're considering when we're buying our condo. We kind of want our dogs with us. 
and also going back to the fact that it doesn't have a built-in kitchen so yeah but with all of that said we really like our space right now and we really love how we can save up for our own condo because the rent is cheaper in this condo okay so we're actually in the process of looking for our own condo and i think we found it so i think i'm gonna be talking more about that in future videos that's why i wanted to share this video because i wanted to put out videos like should i buy a house or a condo what is the difference between buying and renting how do you buy a condo and all of the things like that i want to do them in a future video so I might do another video on some tips when you're looking for a condo or an apartment to rent. Um, that can be in a separate video. I just really wanted to make this video like a come tag along with us and like vlog type of videos so yeah i don't know if you guys are interested in real estate related videos but if you are comment them down below and as always don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload another video and again this has been charm from ready to Dope philippines and i will see you on my next video